This is a power plant. It burns coal, oil or gas and emits tons of CO2 into the atmosphere every day. And this is a residential area. The distance between these two, in some cases only a few hundred meters. But if it weren't a fossil fuel power plant and a wind turbine instead, clean, renewable and climate friendly, then it would have to be at least 2 kilometers away. Why is that? Why is the dirty allowed to be closer to us than the clean? The answer lies somewhere between old laws, new fears and a paradoxical restructuring of our energy supply. Let's take a closer look. While browsing Google Earth, because that's kinda my favorite hobby, I came across this power plant in North Rhine-Westphalia, Germany. And as you can easily see, it is located very very close to the town next to it. That's how I got also the idea for this video and wondered why conventional power plants are located where they are often so close to residential areas, but wind turbines on the other hand for example have huge distances to our settlements. Many fossil fuel power plants were built in the post-war period, from the 1950s to the 1980s. Back then other priorities applied. The proximity to industry, a connection to rivers for cooling, the direct access to the power grid, and minimal transmission losses, environmental and health concerns, they hardly played a role. In the decades that followed, cities grew and residential development moved ever closer to the old power plant sites, which got expanded and modernized over time as well. But best of all, these old plants enjoy grandfathering. They are allowed to continue operating, even though modern environmental standards would have long since banned them. The whole situation is completely different for wind turbines. Today, they are often subject to extreme minimum distances from residential areas. The so-called 10-H rule in Bavaria is particularly well known. A wind turbine that is 200 meters high must be at least 2 kilometers away from any residential area. And this applies not only to new developments, but also to already existing settlement structures. The reasons are noise, of course, even including low frequency noise. Noise, shadow casting, the spraying of the landscape and loss of property value. There are hardly any technically measurable health risks, but perception is what unfortunately counts. Let me know your thoughts about wind energy and its impact to your surrounding landscape. Do you think it's a good way to produce clean energy or do you hate the look of huge clusters of wind parks ruining the view? A coal-fired power plant emits invisible gases. It makes a noise, but you can't hear it. It doesn't smell directly. A wind turbine, on the other hand, is visible, moves, casts shadows and when the wind blows, you always hear a rhythmic hum. These differences are emotional, not objective. From a purely scientific point of view, the risk posed by a wind turbine is obviously significantly lower than that of a fossil fuel power plant. But the massive power plant has always been there. The wind turbine is new and that alone is often enough to trigger massive resistance. Germany wants to phase out coal in the next two decades and at the same time double its electricity demand. But wind power can only be built where it doesn't bother anyone. And that's mostly in rural areas, far away from the big consumption centers. That means we need more power lines, have higher grid losses and paradoxically Fossil fuel power plants in urban areas stay on the grid longer because renewable alternatives are blocked.
Behind the scenes, a power struggle is raging. Fossil fuels have powerful lobby groups. Citizen initiatives against wind power are vocal and well connected politically. Property owners fear for their value. The long term losers are obviously the climate, the energy transition and ironically the cities themselves because they remain dependent on power plants located right next to their homes. Wind power is of course not the only renewable energy source, but it's the one that is most controversial. What about the others? Photovoltaics for example. Solar power is quiet, invisible and can be installed directly on house roofs or brownfield sites. That's why there are fewer conflicts here. But the output is weather dependent and not available in the evening for example. Hydropower on the other hand is reliable, but Europe has already largely developed its rivers. New plants are rare because they interfere deeply with ecosystems. Biogas from manure, corn or bio waste can supply electricity around the clock. Sounds good? But it's space intensive and not climate neutral if extra corn is grown for it. And then there's geothermal energy, heat from the earth. It works well in southern Germany but is expensive and can, as in Staufen or Basel, lead to earthquakes. Each of these sources has potential but also technical and social limitations. So there you have it. Conventional power plants are often so close to our cities because they have been there for decades. Built at a time when environmental regulations hardly played a role and cities weren't as densely developed as today. Wind turbines on the other hand are a somewhat newer technology. They are often considered disruptive not because of what they do but because of how they look, how they sound and where they are to be built. And so the paradox remains. What harms the environment the most is right next to us, while what could save it often has to remain miles away. Hey, this is me, Imperator. If you really enjoyed the video, let me know with a like, hype or comment about your opinion or the next topic you want me to cover. I am extremely fascinated by cities and the infrastructure that surrounds us. So if you want to see more regular content on that kind of things, you could consider supporting me on Patreon. That's a big help and the best way to make more videos like this one even possible. If you're also playing City Skylines 2 like me, you'll also get the safe game to my own highly realistic imaginary dream city for just one dollar to explore and expand by yourself. If that doesn't sound like a good deal, what does? Anyway, I want to thank all of you who already decided to support me over there from the bottom of my heart. You're absolute legends guys. Have a nice day, thanks for watching and bye bye.